bag of tricks, cat. What's going on? Man, what interview is this with us? Like the fifth? I, I think now, like, we know each other a little bit better. Yeah, you know I think we saying? know each other a lot better, man, because yeah. we've been on tour together yeah, now. Yeah, like, they pray that you're under, you know man, what I'm saying? Man, they, they praying I'm under, man, but the, a lot of cats are praying I build, too, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not just all negative. So you stay busy, man. You stay busy with uh, with uh, Respect the Underground. You stay busy with your solo yes. career. You're running a studio now. Like, you got a whole lot of things yeah. going on. So recap, um, since the last time that we were in an interview together, we went on the Boost Mobile Underground Coverage Tour. Yeah. It was myself, including um, John Blaze, sitting right here, uh, Justice, Tommy Will, as well as Bricks, out of Sholo, Arizona. And we hit 10 cities, really dope. After that, I came home, mm -hmm. and instead of really working on music, I really started working on getting the studio up. Because a lot of people in Arizona are familiar with handcrafted studios, HKS, and so they know how tough it is to, to get in with Brian. And I'm Brian's cousin, I still have a hard time getting in with him, like, hey yeah. man, like, I, I need this. So instead of working on my own music, I wanted to get the studio up and running, make sure everything's smooth, and I feel like it's at that point, so now the doors are open for Official. Room B. Yeah, officially, Room B here at Handcrafted Studios. Um, I'll be engineering half the week, and then the other half of the week goes to a very talented engineer and producer yeah. named DB Beats. Shout out to DB. Shout out to DB and 9-4, uh, both really dope producers, and they're in here half the week, and they crank out beats, they engineer, so we got that business running, and now it's time to get working on the music, but it's it's not gonna be a solo album, man. I want the next solo album. To me, it's, it's a make or break album. Okay. And so I wanna take the time to really put out something that I'm proud of, and something that everyone who has supported me can be really proud of. But at the same time, I still wanna give the people who have supported me and really dig my stuff new music. Yeah. And so- Cats I, Out The Bag did well though, right? Cats Out The Bag, you know, went on two national tours and charted on Billboard. Yeah. You know, Heat Seekers chart number one. Congratulations, and we had great, right? great singles. You had Dream Girl, you had Never Sober with Bizarre and Justice, you had For The Culture and um, a couple other records, you know, that made some videos. But um, yeah, I was happy with Cats Out The Bag, but it's time to raise the bar time to on, raise the, on bar. the next solo album. Well, you did so this year with the uh, the single yeah. that, that you dropped with Bougie. Me and Bougie started working on that record in fall of 2016. Okay. And then we, you know, shot the video and did everything. And it was cool because me and Bougie are in two separate lanes. Yeah. You know, the, the content of my music and the content of his music is nowhere near the same. And so, by the way, free Bougie. And if you're talking shit, then, you know. Well, it's yeah. in the record, you know what I'm saying? You know, Bougie even says, well, the record's called Pray You're Under. Meaning, you know, when you're up, you're up. But when you're down, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like they kick you while you're down and they, and they kind of low-key pray that you under when you down bad everybody disappear right is that kind of direction where you're going with the new project yeah yeah i it's gonna be a more aggressive project this one i, I really want to go deep yeah and i really want to talk about not only the music business and and what everything's like but also getting real deep into my personal life yeah and and just letting everything out and letting people know who i really am so what are you doing in between time that's that's the announcement, man. Okay. And, uh, Mega Ran and myself are putting together Emerald Nights 2. Part 2. Part 2. We're going to do a whole new duo album together. Wow. And uh, maybe even possibly a tour. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's been almost two years. Yeah. And we recorded the whole project when we toured Europe together. Right. Yeah, you were on the road. Yeah, and it was produced by a Canadian producer named Fresh Kills. And then it was mixed and mastered here in America. Wow. So you had three countries that were involved in the making of yeah. the first project. It, what's it What's it like working with, with Mega Ram? Me and Mega have a really great energy in the studio. Yeah. And he's really easy to vibe with. We've done, you know, at least a dozen or more records together uh, over the span of my career. And it's always a pleasure working with him. 
real quick, what, what what's your take on, on the scene right now? Well, everything comes in waves, and there's right. highs and lows to, to everything. Right now, I feel like the scene is just experiencing a small low of artists that are right now creating content. Okay. You know, shooting the videos, recording the records. Coming getting back. Every, getting everything. Getting back to the ready scene. To rock and roll, because you got to build up, and you got to create content. You got to reload. Yeah, and so I think everybody's just stacking up their ammo. And um, I mean, I think that this has been a great year for Arizona hip hop. I mean, what, what advice can you give somebody who's who's thinking about going on tour or maybe like getting ready to go on tour? Have realistic expectations, which are which are if you play in a weeknight, don't get discouraged if 50 people or less show up. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you're not Drake, not Eminem. Don't let your ego get to you and think that you deserve <laughs> this big crowd at some little bar or you yeah. know mid-sized venue that you booked out of state. Um, so just be realistic. Be realistic on what it's going to cost, on you know what you could potentially make. Yeah. Um, be realistic on what the turnout of your shows are going to be. About the amount of work that it's going to take to execute these events and make them successful. Okay. Um, and also think about think really hard who you're going with on tour if they're, <laughs> and if they're the right people to go with no but it's very true though it's but very for real true. because if you have if your main goal is i want to make money get fans and and make my presence known yeah that's your main goal you can't go with somebody whose main goal is i want to get fucked up every night and live a rapper you know stereotype lifestyle yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's not gonna mesh. It's not gonna be good. It's about so business, make, man. You gotta be on your business. Make sure that if if you wanna just get messed up and think that you're hot shit, then bring other people who just wanna do that. If you wanna actually try to make some money yeah. and you wanna make your presence known and gain new supporters and fans, then go with people like that. Mm. But you can't have two of the same because that's when conflict's gonna happen on the road. Yeah. And you're stuck with these people, it's man. It's very true very true so those are the biggest pieces of advice that i could give Yo, to any artist just keep it real how long have you been like actively moving as a you know as a as bag trist cat like on on a, on a serious level i tried getting real serious and and really wanted to make something of it um almost nine years ago okay so you've been at it for a while yeah okay when so may, maybe that's why when i was 16 but i was blessed to have I was blessed to have really great mentors and people that believed in me and took me under their wing yeah. when they really didn't have to. Right, right. And, you know, I, I speak on it many times, man. Like, Buki was the first dude shout to ever Buki. do that for me. Yeah, shout out to Buki. And Buki really took me under his wing and <laughs> and showed me a lot of things that I applied. Yeah. And then after that, it was Mega Ran. Mm. And after working with Mega Ran, two AZ legends. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> and then after that was Justice. Yeah, and took me under his wing. And then not to mention all the advice that I've gotten from you, John. I've gotten a lot of advice from Brian, who's been engineering for right, almost right. twenty years. And then um, for the brief moment where I was working with Bizarre and and D12, you know what I'm saying? I soaked mm. up a lot of game from them. That's right. That's right. And so I, I've been blessed to work with people who have had great accomplishments and made great mistakes yeah. and were humble enough and and cool enough to share those with me and to share their knowledge with me. And so it's not just me. It wouldn't happen yeah. without all them. So and that's what it's all about, man. You got you got a nice uh, roster of cronies around you. Yeah. How do you differ from most artists? I don't rush anything. I'm not in a rush. Okay. The people in my personal life can tell you that. <laughs> Every everyone like I'm, I'm I've not been, in a I've rush. been told I've been told I, wanted, yeah, yeah. I want things done right okay and to me if it's not done right then why do it man well uh we appreciate you always I appreciate you John you know what I'm saying uh congrats on your success we look forward to hearing more from you and uh I gotta say your 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 one of your last singles for the culture has got to go down in uh in the vault in the AZ vault thank you man for sure you know what I'm thank saying 